Hello and welcome to the ONAP SDNC on Light.io presentation. In this presentation we are going to show you running SDNC based on Pantheon Light.io. Firstly, we are going to deploy SDNC in our local environment using Docker Compose. While it's starting up, let's talk a little bit about use Docker Compose file. This file is almost the same as you can find in ONAP SDNC repository. In our case, we only changed SDNC service definition itself. This diff shows our changes in SDNC service definition. We changed based image of service, so we deploy our SDNC based on Light.io instead of vanilla SDNC. Then we change container name, entry point, we removed unnecessary port originally used for SSH connection to ODL CARAF. And finally we removed one environment variable which is not currently used by our container. Now let's check progress of our SDNC deployment. SDNC is still booting up. It will take a few more minutes. Now in Light.io SDNC container output you can see messages from Light.io. SDNC is ready to use. Let's check if directed graph builder is up and running. Now we can try to execute a directed graph. We have prepared one. So now we are going to import, upload and activate it. This graph is rather simple. It reads topology data from MDSAL and then prints ID of first topology and ID of first node in this topology to logger. Before executing this graph, we have to store some topology data to MDSAL. Now we can execute our graph. Let's see if the expected output is locked into SDNC lock. Here you can see the recorded message. Graph was executed successfully. To show how easy it can be to build a Light.io based application with your own components, let us walk you through the initialization code used to start SDNC modules. In our main Java class, we have standard public static void main method. In this method, as you can see, we handle command line arguments, add required Yang models, get controller and rest conf configuration, and call start controller private method. In this method, we start Light.io controller, which contains all necessary services, rest conf, and we call start SDNC modules private method. This is the method which starts all SDNC components. You can see it's divided to several parts based on SDNC components. For example, you can see initialization of SLI core modules, SLI adapters modules, SLI logic modules, ATC. We took the liberty of measuring and comparing the results of the vanilla SDNC container and the Pantheon Light.io powered SDNC container. As you can see, main benefits of Pantheon Light.io SDNC container is much quicker startup and less memory consumption. Thank you for watching.